In Mark chapter 12, the last few instances we've looked at, Jesus was being challenged. Jesus was being asked questions about various things, from taxes to the resurrection to what is the greatest law and commandment. And then we saw where no one in verse 34, Mark 12, 34, that after Jesus answered the scribe about the greatest commandment, that no one then dared question Jesus again. But now in verse 35 of Mark chapter 12, we see Jesus turn this back on them and really on the people. Jesus has a challenging question of his own. Notice with me verse 35, that Jesus answered and said while he taught in the temple, how is it that the scribes say that the Christ, the coming one, right, the anointed, the Messiah, how is it that the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? So he's a descendant of David. For David himself said by the Holy Spirit in one of his writings, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Now here's Jesus' question further. Therefore, David himself calls him, the Christ, the Messiah, his descendant, but David calls him Lord. How is he then his son? So Jesus puts this to them, that the Christ, the Messiah, we know. The scribes talk about how he is a son of David, he's a descendant of David. But Jesus' question is, well, how is it that David calls his descendant his son? How is it, or, or sorry, how is it that he calls his descendant Lord? So Jesus is trying to get them and the people to think about this. Notice, though, what Mark tells us about this event. You know, Mark, Mark chose to focus on those who liked to hear this from Jesus. Instead of those who would react negatively or didn't really want to think about it. Instead, Mark tells us that the common people heard him gladly. The common people, not the scribes, not the Pharisees, not any other religious leader, not the Sadducees, it just says the common people heard what Jesus was saying and were glad. They wanted to know more and they wanted to know about this. They were thinking about this. You know, Jesus' question how is it that David calls his descendant Lord? Well, the answer that they should have come to terms with, and the answer we know, thankfully, today, is that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus of Nazareth who lived on this earth, that Jesus is the Son of God who came to this earth, that he is a descendant, he was a descendant in the flesh of David, but he was not just any descendant. He was God's son. He was God in the flesh. Lord. King. And Jesus did die. Jesus was raised from the dead and ascended. And he is at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Until all enemies are made his footstool. He's reigning even now. And we're told the common people heard him gladly. But notice what the next thing Mark has here in his gospel account. Right after this, Mark tells us about Jesus saying to them in his teaching to beware of the scribes. Watch out for the scribes. Who desire to go around in long robes. They love greetings in the marketplaces. The best seats in the synagogues. And the best places at feasts. Who devour widows' houses. And for a pretense make long prayers, he says. But these will receive greater condemnation. I think it's interesting that this comes right after what Jesus was saying about challenging 
these religious leaders and the people with this question about David. And right after that, he warns of the hypocrisy of the scribes, of the Jewish leaders. It's almost as if the way it's set up in Mark's gospel that Jesus challenges them with this thing about David calling his descendant Lord. The common people were excited to hear it. But I doubt the religious leaders were really could answer or had any idea or didn't want any idea. So he now warns about the hypocrisy of these scribes, these Jewish leaders who they look the part, but they don't really understand. They just are more, in, they're not interested in a truth like the Son of God, the Messiah, the Christ, the descendant of David, David calling him Lord. They're not really interested in that. They, they want to look good. They want to sound good. They want to appear good. They want the fame and the fortune and the attention instead of actual, the actual wealth of the knowledge of God and his will and his salvation through Jesus. And so Jesus warns them, beware of these scribes. They look like they know a lot. They look like they're special. They look like they should, you know, be leaders, but they're full of themselves. They don't really want to know God's will. They don't really want to know the true Messiah. So Jesus says to stay clear of them. And instead, he could say, keep listening to what I'm telling you. Let's be like the common people and listen gladly to the things that we are taught in the Gospels and the Word of God. And continue to grow in our faith in Jesus, who is Lord, who is at the right hand of God in heaven. Today, many people are, are remembering Jesus' resurrection. And thankfully, our Lord, our King, did rise from the dead. He is seated at the right hand of God. And his enemies, Satan, and all sin and death, will one day come to an end. Jesus will be victorious. He already is victorious. And we will be victorious in him. God bless.